Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to turn this into this. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm going to show you all the parts you need for this build. First thing you're going to want, a Nerf Vulcan. We're going to hook it up to a drill battery. Um, this one's 20 volt, 18 would be fine too. Uh, the standard voltage on a Vulcan is something like 9 or 10 volts, so this is going to make it spin a lot faster. You're going to want some uh, wire, two different colors is ideal. You're going to want uh, a number of these um, red butt connectors, that's for connecting the wires together. You're going to want wire strippers for connections. You're going to need a screwdriver, this one's an S1 I believe, uh, for taking the... Uh, blaster apart recommend a set of uh, pliers uh, this is optional I'm going to show you guys how to take a little board off of there that doesn't really like the high voltage um, so I've got a soldering iron I actually prefer my um, gas torch with the soldering iron tip uh, but I'm not even going to use the tip in this video and uh, a tiny little bit of solder uh, if you don't have this stuff and you like to build I, I would recommend investing in it. I am going to do a number of videos uh, where I take this uh, and even some more complicated stuff uh, just to build some some kind of cool stuff. So uh, you guys can build that stuff too with me uh, if this is what you like to do. So here we go. You're also going to need two of these spade connectors to connect your battery. All right, guys, here we go. I'll try to skip through the boring parts. So in order to get this ready, uh, to modify you need to take off a couple of parts this has to come off the handle has to come off and this uh, lid here has to come off so with lots of finesse that'll come out put it aside for now this should come out real easy too you just kind of pop these and that comes off this one's got two screws An S1 if you're wondering and you got to take it out of both sides if it's a bit tricky get that plastic piece out of there there it goes same thing other side Now I got to remove all of these little screws. You don't have to do the barrel because it's a different piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do that a second off camera. Okay guys, now that I've got all the screws taken out and uh, set aside in a safe spot, um, the first thing is you got to take off this battery pack. There's one screw down here and that'll go away. You're also going to want to cut this sticker. Otherwise, it can hold the case together. And it opens up just like that. So all we're doing is taking these leads that used to go to the battery pack, and we're just putting ends on them so that we can put a higher voltage to them. So this red one over here, that's on the right side of the blaster is your positive and this sneaky orange one uh, that we're going to make black uh, because that's the color of ground is your ground and we're basically going to hook those right up to a drill battery so here we go you want to pull those out with pliers snip the ends off and throw them away Then we're going to take some right colored wire. Next I'm going to take some wire, actually I have black wire, so I'm going to use white for my ground and red for my positive. Um, and we're going to use a couple of butt connectors, 12 volt butt connectors, uh, to connect those to our spade bits that will plug right into our 
battery, and that'll give us the power we want. So, give yourself a little extra space, um, maybe 12 inches or so. Strip the ends, put your connectors in there. I'll try to show you what I do. I like to crimp the one side in first and then put the other over like that. Anyway, We're going to put our butt connectors on the other ends of these wire and then we're going to get the other wire ready to connect. It's gonna be a bit tricky because this is a bit short here. We're just gonna we're gonna try to take off about three quarters of an inch on this one because I like to double it over because they're thin wires. Same with this one. So twist it when you make these twist them so they stay together. They don't get all crazy on you. And then bend them over. Let me show you what I've done. So that was my red, so I'm going to connect red to it. And there's one more thing I'm going to show you as a bonus. This little switch here. Make sure you guys can see this. This little switch here. If it's not pressed in like that, the gun won't fire. And what it's doing is it's telling the, the blaster that there's a, there's a chain in there pressing that up um, so I'm gonna get rid of that because I like to just be able to fire it even if there's nothing in it uh, or you know avoid any jams that might come with that
I'm actually going to stick these into the same end of a butt connector for a good connection. Just be careful because I actually uh, I think Nerf glues this wire into there. I'm actually going to just fix my wire real quick. Okay. So then you're just going to want to make sure this wire is run correctly so it doesn't fuck that thing. And these come down here and out of here. those will connect to your battery. There's one more thing I want to show you and that's this green board here does not like the higher voltage so I'm actually going to show you how to take that off. Okay so you're going to want to get a soldering iron if you're doing this part you don't have to but you may find it's worthwhile. Um, I've got a torch that I like to use that has a soldering end on it. Uh, and so essentially what we're doing here is getting rid of this, uh, this green part. Uh, and so what I like to do is put a little bit of pressure behind that board. And then melt that solder and that board will start to come up. Uh, I'm actually going to recommend cutting these wires first so you don't burn them and make them useless. Try not to burn anything important while you're doing this. go whatever that is and add that to your collection of green bits so now we just want to connect these two wires back directly to the engine and if you don't know how to solder there's actually holes in these uh, connections here. The hole there. Right there. And you can put that wire through there. Um, and that may work for you. If you can't solder. Um, I'm going to try to solder them on. Okay, so that's through. Um, Try to cheat here. Just 
get a dab of solder on there. That way it'll stick. Put our wires back. And that's it. So we're going to put this back together. Uh, who knows which way this way was. This thing was. It goes this way. Okay, so I'm going to take this minute and put all the pieces back on and uh, come back to you. Okay, so once it's closed up, you're going to slide this back on. Find your parts back that you threw away earlier. To the other side. Um, the handle goes back on pretty easy. You just kind of line up these bits here. These little half moons line up with the handle. This just presses back together. If you want to put it back in, I typically don't, but I will for the sake of this video. Um, you may break it getting it off. It is what it is. Um, I usually throw this away too. If you forget it, you can always pop it in afterwards. Take that out so it's easier to lay down. All right, I'm going to put all the screws back in. Hey guys, so I got all the screws back in. I've actually hooked it up to nine volts, which is similar to what it was before. Uh, so I can show you the difference. So here is nine volts. And here we go. I'll finally show you how to hook it up to the 20 volt. So if you can see here, there's a positive on my battery and there's a negative on my battery. And so that's what you're gonna wanna figure out on your battery. Um, you need to obviously hook up the positive to the positive and negative to the negative. I've got a 20 volt, um, 18 or 20 volts is ideal. Um, so here we go. The, the spades, these flat ends just plug right in there. So white in this case is my negative. So I'm going to plug into my negative and red to my positive. And that's all it takes. So there you go, guys. It's that easy. Um, if you have questions uh, or comments on the video, let me know. Leave them in the comments. If you liked seeing that, uh, hit like. Um, and if you like building things like this, subscribe. I got a bunch more videos coming on uh, modifications to these and uh, some other stuff I want to show you how to build too. Uh, subscribe and build them with me. See you later.